A lawyer, Excellency. What can I do for you? I conducted my investigation on the extortion organized by members of the Guard. I think I've put an end to it, at least temporarily. Unfortunately, I had to kill some of them as they were about to attack a merchant. But there are still some other soldiers involved that I should tell you about. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will have these men arrested immediately. These foolish brutes not only harm your merchants, but the entire reputation of the Guard. But you said you've only put an end to it temporarily. What makes you think this criminality might resume? Their leader is still on the loose. They call him Egon, although I doubt it's his real name. I got hold of one of his lieutenants. He was carrying a silver coin, which seems to be a symbol of recognition between the gang members. But the man preferred to die rather than tell us anything about his leader. Loyalty or terror? Terror, I fear. From the merchants to the guards, everyone seems to tremble in front of this Egon. I don't know any guard of that name, but as you said, it's probably a pseudonym. Here, Your Excellency, take this. On behalf of the guard, to thank you for settling this case. And rest assured that I will conduct a thorough investigation on my side. I'll also make sure that in future the city guard is made up only of men of trust. Thank you. I will return to see how your investigation is going. I don't take this matter lightly. Is there anything else? No, thank you.
On Almanawi. My mother is still held in this outpost near the Gigador. I must do everything I can to free her from the Lion's Claws. So will you accompany me? Maybe later. I have no time to take care of this at the moment. I understand. But do not wait for too long. They may be hurting her. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. Greetings. What can I do for you? Why build an outpost here? Well, we do have to watch over the land surrounding the city. With the bandits, the beasts, and the natives. We don't have a lot of time to rest, you know. Anything else? Things. Do you want to travel without tiring yourself out? My caravan goes through all the cities, so where should I drop you? Thanks, but I'd rather walk. In the name of the Enlightened One, present yourself. Sir de Sardé, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tierfredi. I have come to present my regards to your governor. We have been expecting your visit, Your Excellency. Welcome. May he light your way.
May the enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. May the enlightened bless you. Answer me. Why? Why are you doing this? Behold your so-called gods. You are demons. They burn. They are nothing. You shed tears for this creature while your heart should be full of joy. Welcoming the light. <gasps> Get your pagan foul teachings. Embrace the true faith. You are mad. Inquisitor? You! Stop where you are! The pagan stink of these soulless natives taints you. You bring demon-spawned barbarians through our gates. <sighs> This man just killed some helpless soul in front of our eyes, and he calls us barbarians. Who are you to address with such familiarity? I am the Inquisitor Aloysius, and you will be going nowhere lest your answers give me satisfaction. Do you believe that the God of Light is the one and only God? Don't tell me that you are going to humor this crazed assassin. If I want to complete my mission, I believe I have no other choice. Diplomacy may seem to you of little import, but I doubt that your governor will be of a similar opinion. Aggression towards an emissary of another nation is an error that could lead to war. Your attempts to avoid answering speak for themselves. Answer my question. Yes, I believe it to be so. Really? If that's the case... What is the name of the most holy of men? He who transmitted the Divine Testament. For how long are you going to stand this questioning? He insults you. Silence, demon spawn. I am not asking you the questions. Everyone in the world knows that the holy prophet and founder of Teleme is Matthäus. You seem well versed in your readings of the righteous faith. One final question, and you may continue along your path. What gift did his sacred divinity award us when we accepted the words of his divine prophet? He gave us magic. But it is a rather tricky theological enigma. Many would argue that he offered us far more than that. Precisely. Precisely. Your answers blur and your tongue wavers. You are no true believer. Your words seem tainted in lies, ruse, and deceitful purpose. You shall have to learn to live with it. We have tolerated this interrogation long enough. Your companion's attitude reveals your lack of faith and commitment. 
Your very presence in our holy city is outrageous blasphemy. May he guide my hand. You! Stop where you are! The pig. Who uh, do you... Don't... If I... Yes. What? For... Um... I believe his name to be Timotheus, no? How dare you pretend to be a believer? Your very presence in our home. <laughs> You! The... Who are you? I do... Don't. If I want to... Yes. What? For a... Silent. Everyone in the... You... One. What? The salvation of our souls? Only an infidel could be so blind to refuse the daily gifts of the divine. Your very presence in our holy city. <laughs> Move away. Things are about to get dicey. Enough. This time brute force has prevailed, but the light always triumphs in the end. I will not forget our encounter, and I am certain that we shall meet again.
Welcome to the best holy item shop in San Mateus. Do you like it here in San Mateus? It is impossible not to like it here. The air is purer than it is on the continent. The Malachor is far away. And rumor has it that this island is the one Saint Mateus himself chose as his final resting place. Goodbye. May the Enlightened always keep you in his divine presence. Young man, pardon me, are you not part of the new governor's entourage? I'm his cousin, and I'm accompanying him on his mission to Tirfredi. What can I do for you, Father? Bishop Petrus, how divinely fortunate this is. Did you know that I had the honor of meeting you at your uncle's court when you were a child? I would never have imagined that you would grow up to resemble the island natives so closely. The island was yet to be discovered. How could you have known? <laughs> you haven't lost your clever little tongue. You were always quite a remarkable young boy. I'm on my way to New Serene as an ambassador to the new governor. Do you think there would be room for me to accompany you? The roads are not truly safe. I must first meet the Mother Cardinal to present my respects on behalf of my cousin. I will accompany you, and then we can take the road together. I'm so happy our paths have crossed once again. Greenblood, there's something I would like to talk to you about. I'm listening. I recruited a young man for the guard a few months ago. Talented, very talented, and honorable. I've been tracking his progress, and I learned that he's been sent to the barracks in New Serene. I would like you to meet him so that you can give me your opinion. My opinion? On what? Ever since our departure from Serene, I've spent nearly every second at your side. But I have clear standing orders to assure the protection of Constantine. And I don't know his guards. Not well in any case. I see. You've been thinking this recruit might be a suitable personal guard? Precisely. And your opinion has weight. So then, would you like to accompany me to meet him? I don't have time now. Can it wait a while? Anything else? I must leave you. Your Eminence, in the name of the Congregation of Merchants, I present my best regards. May the light bless you and accompany you on these grounds with inspired guidance. I thank you. We truly wish that this visit will strengthen the ties between our two nations. I learned that you crossed paths with that of Inquisitor Aloysius. I'm extremely sorry that this visit took a violent turn. Aloysius's faith is sometimes too absolute. I hope that you have it in you to look beyond it and forgive his zeal. Another subject brings me as well. The Malachor, the horrible blood plague decimating our peoples. A terrible matter that worries us all and reveals our imperfections and sinful nature. For he would never have allowed such an evil to spread without a deeper reason, a fault. Our theologians are certain that the Malachor is the work of a curse. And we have discovered that this island is home to a cult that venerates willfully a horrifying demon. A demon? An evil spirit? It's very strange. 
Oh, I know no clan that worships this sort of troubled spirit. We must unearth this cult and tear it out by its sinister, sinful roots. We started to investigate a village not far from here, where strange happenings have been reported. I have begun investigations, and I confirm that a demon is certainly active in the area. Alas, the population is very secretive, and we have great difficulty gleaning any useful information. But if the congregation would help us in this matter, in other words, if the Malachor troubles your cousin as much as myself, report to his majesty that the destruction of this pagan cult is the only way to eradicate the plague, and his help in obtaining any information from the natives would be extremely welcomed. Be certain that your message will be transmitted, Mother Cardinal. I look forward to our next encounter. Have a nice day, sir. Good day. May the word of St. Mateus guide you. Is it you? Your Excellency does Come something. Closer. It is an order. Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate to have a rummage around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. 